Brown Davis was the first woman principal chief of uh, any Indian tribe in Oklahoma, possibly in the nation. Actually, Davis was the first since the five tribes came west in the early 1830s, to quote Pulitzer Prize-winning biographer Vance Trimble. It's usually believed that she was chief for a long, long time. She wasn't chief. It was very briefly a chief that she was picked to uh, actually convey some land uh, on which rested the Yamahaka Academy for Girls, and she wouldn't do it, and they actually after appointing her chief, fired her. She only was chief, paid as chief for one month, $75. However, the Seminole people recognized her as chief, so for them, she was principal chief for far more than the appointment. Of course, she was involved, uh, ran a trading post, and ran a ranch, and and was involved in Seminole affairs. She was looked up to by the Seminole tribes people. She was recognized by the state in 1930 for her tremendous accomplishments all across the board, cultural, educational, legal, political. Interpreter for the Seminoles in law and business, member of the Dawes Commission, missionary, teacher, mother of 10, Mrs. Davis, Chief Alice, died in 1935. She was 83. I'm Billy Roadley with Centennial Stories.